Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is six off grid knives. So, we're going to check out six knives from off grid knives. Now, off grid knives are made by Best Tech and We Knives. So, Best Tech does the budget knives, and then We Knives does their more premium knives, their titanium frame locks. And we're going to check out representations of both of them within these six models. Now, this one is the Off-Grid Badger. And the Off-Grid Badger is not a large knife, but it's not a small knife either. It's kind of in that medium category. It is most Off-Grid knives, not all, ha have a thickness to them. They do have a palm fillingness to them to make them very comfortable in the hand for use. And that makes sense, especially if we are actually talking about knives for off-grid. However, this one might be a little tiny bit too broad in this area because for real hard pressure pushing like if i had to you know do something with wood or something not, this is not sharp here but it tends to put some pressure you know really good right in the palm right there so that could be an issue if you're really going to do some hard abuse things but for regular cutting it will work just fine and the pinch grips work really good with this knife the drop point blade does have a big belly on it so for utility cuts you are going to have to lift up pretty high but you can get by with it the action very snappy action. It's one thing I've noticed about the off-grid knives. Most of them have really, really good action. Now, this one being in D2 steel, it does have a somewhat of a, a stone wash bead blast finish, but it is still a, a light stone wash, so that's okay. But you do want to, you know, watch out for corrosion. We have a lock on it to help make it a little bit tougher, and it actually works pretty good. Usually, when you de um, deploy the locking mechanism that are located in this area, there's usually a little bit of shift with the liner. This one has no shift, so that's really cool. You can tell it actually works pretty good. Next thing, this clip. This clip works so good. I think all the off-grid knives I've tried all have reversible pocket clips, flat screws, and they are in the set. Amazing clips on the off-grid knives. So this is going to be a great, great carry. Let's get to this next one. Now, this next one, it has kind of a a hard use yet sliciness to it because the blade is so broad and it's not that thick and robust. The grind doesn't start to over halfway down the blade and it's not necessarily really thin behind the edge. However, because of the way the grind is and it not having a really thick blade stock and having a really good taper from the thickness all the way down to the thinnest point, it cuts really, really well. Next, you have such amazing ergos with this. This is one that you can really get a good, good hammer grip on. A lot of pressure into your cuts. The utility cuts are going to be amazing because of its warm cliff blade shape. So most cutting tasks are going to be really good with this. Now, the one downfall is that it is pretty wide it's it's you know you can see it's a pretty broad blade even you know comparing it to this guy you can see a massive size difference it's not a small knife so you do have to put that into consideration you're carrying a pretty broad knife but for off grid this might be the exact thing you want now the action the liner lock very easy to access and it is fall shut action the detent is very solid i can fail it but as, as long as you're trying to flick it it will deploy every time very very good action on this and the clip again deep carry clip amazing clip works incredibly well and it has a reversible clip now this one doesn't have the flat screws so i was mistaken they all don't have flat screws but it is an inset clip and to me those screws didn't bother me at all i did carry this a couple times i didn't notice them but that could be an issue for thicker real thick materials i do notice this thing is off centered right now so i'm gonna fix that right now I did not take any of these apart, so, you know, this is uh, more of a, you know, fast review, just, you know, first impressions, kind of more or less than a real, real review. Just want to throw that out there. Next. 
the off-grid enforcer now oh, the name makes sense for this knife this is a big knife not just in length but in just size i feel like i could hang back here and chop with this thing it is a thick robust grind still cuts pretty good because you have such good ergos you know the the texture on this is very heavy but it's very comfortable in the hand and you can get a lot of leverage through a cut with this knife now it because it has its um Sheep's foot slash clip point blade. Utility cuts are a dream. Very good with utility cuts. And it does have a glass breaker on the back of it that I have no doubt wouldn't work. And this would be a knife that I actually would be very comfortable with hitting because it's so grippy. I could pound this through the table right now and my hand would never slip. Not even a little bit. It's just so grippy. And the thickness is the perfect thickness that you can just squeeze with all your might. And it not be uncomfortable you know kind of like a hammer or something the action really really good detent is super solid very smooth action now the the choil though i'm not a big fan of this choil i wish the plunge grind was away you can already see it looks like the factory even hit the plunge grind you know, because that's what happens when you put the plunger in that close. Jimping is really nice. Very, very nice. Perfect jimping for this knife and a perfect placement for it. And you can always use this spot right there if you really want to bear down, you know, with your knife. Now, the, the access to the lock bar is pretty good. And I just cut my table. But... It's, they don't really have too much of a cut out there. It's just easy to get to, so it's not bad. And then you can see the screw right there. And on the other side, that holds the stop pin in. Decent size stop pin for the weight of the blade. Now, the clip, the clip, another good clip, inset, flat screws, and it is reversible. Again, I love their clips, man. They do such a good job. And I just mean with the, the way they function. They function so good. And... You know, this one, very comfortable in the hand because, you know, I wind up hitting the end of it. The only thing is this is a a big knife. And I, I don't mean that in the way a lot of people would take it. I mean, it's almost weirdly big because, I don't know. It's it's just an extremely large knife in all dimensions, you know, and I understand that, you know, to have this thick of a grind, it's good to have these type of ergos and leverage. I personally just wouldn't carry this one around unless if I was going off grid. So maybe it makes sense. Or if I'm going to be an enforcer, which I do on every other Tuesday. So maybe I would carry it. Next. One of my favorites, the Rhino. I really like this one. This one has a beautiful blade shape. The point drops all the way down exactly where I would want it. I could take it a little bit lower, but it has a great amount of belly. So you can, you know, have belly for slicing. You know, if you're going to do skinning or anything like that off grid. But you have a good enough tip to where you don't have to raise up too high. You can get good levers through a utility cut. You could drill a hole with it. But the Ergo's are so comfortable on this one you can get a lot of pressure behind that blade and you have a nice long flat area here for push cuts the action is stupid good i love this flipper tab here how it's round it makes it where you can push button or light switch my preferred method and it the detent is so well tuned on this one I, I really, really like this one. Now, there are a couple things I don't like, and I'll go over that in a second. But so comfortable in the hand. The clip works really good. It doesn't have flat screws again, but inset, you know, uh, reversible, and it works really good. Lots of hardware on this guy, and I think those are T8s. So these are T8s, I believe. Yes, they are. So T8s all the way around aside from the clip. Access to the liner is really good. It does drop really nicely stupid smooth but the one thing i do want to complain about which isn't that big of a deal but the choil again why are they putting the choils next to the plunge grind like that 
I want a good way, you know, an easy way to sharpen without hitting all of this. You know, they could have put a little choil in there and it'd be perfect because this thing like almost begs for a choil right there. But that's minimal. I could easily do that. And they did give you a landing zone right here for the flipper tab. And also they put the stop pin up here. Stop pin. Eh, it's an okay size. I wish it was a little bigger, but it's not like tiny or anything like that. It's hard for me to show you guys, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Can I reverse flick it? Yes, I can because of the coating. Now, the steel is D2. Again, they do really like their D2 steel. I'd like to see some more stainless steels on these knives, like some 14C would be really nice, 12C27. That would just take these knives over the top. This one has a really cool sound to it too. But let's get to the next one. Next the Black Mamba. Now, this would be one of the knives that are made by Wii because this is a titanium frame lock in M390 steel. I love this golf ball pattern. It's really nice in the hand. feels really good in the hand. It is. I can get a full four-finger grip, but I am tight. You know, it's not a very large knife. It's definitely not really an off-grid knife to me. I, well, obviously, it's an off-grid knife, but you know what I mean. Um, if we were actually going to take their name and make it serious, but we're not. Now, the clip, very, very nice. Love the way this clip goes in, and you can see how it is reversible. Again, flat screws and inset. Nice tension to it, and it works very well. Now, the action is really nice. It's not bad at all. The detent is okay. It's a little bit light compared to some of the others, but it's still reliable. And the access to the lock bar, they kind of squeezed in these two areas right there. I don't know why they would do that, so that's a little weird, but it still isn't bad to unlock um, because of the coating and the texture. You know, it's, you know, kind of kind of grippy in a way at least it works just fine the blade grind is very robust for this size of a knife i don't know why they went this robust but you know whatever i mean it is what it is but it is a very thick grind and the geometry is more for a harder use knife now that being said this one's probably the one that i i I like the least out of the premium ones that I've tried, but this next one, or one thing I do like though, is they did do T8s all the way around, even on the steel lock bar insert, but they did put T6s for the clip. Not a big deal. Everything else is T8s. I love to see that. But the one I really like though is the Scorpion. This is an awesome, awesome knife. And this one's done by we. And the detent is so crisp. Such a clean break. I can fail it if I wanted to, but without trying, it, man, it's very reliable. And I love the sound that it makes. It's really snappy. The blade shape, love this blade shape. Perfect for utility cuts, slicing, push cuts. The ergos, amazing. They melt in your hand. It's not too broad, not too thick. Great thickness, feels very comfortable in the hand. Clip, again, works amazing. Inset, flat screws, and reversible. Now, there are multiple different options with this particular one um, with different kind of inlays. This one has the carbon fiber, and it is real carbon fiber. This isn't the faux carbon fiber. And we have the titanium frame lock, lock bar insert, M390 steel. The geometry, it's robust, but it's not crazy it's okay but yes it is a robust grind but it will definitely cut just fine access to lock bars good and it's very smooth on the drop i love when i hear it click back into the detent you can really hear that detent this one's my favorite one out of the high-end knives and i already showed you which one was my favorite out of the budget knives but yeah, this is very, very well done. You can tell the OEM was a good company. And yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.